Okay, greetings fellow armchair imagineers. I am at the happiest, ex, uh, question mark in parentheses, place on earth. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you guys, this trip has been by far the most stressful. I mean, the crowds here are just unreal. It's probably worse than any crowds I have ever seen in this park. Um, I have thoughts on the trip. I have thoughts. I have thoughts on Lightning Lane. I have thoughts on, um, the current situation with the cast members. I have a lot of thoughts. I, I've really tried to enjoy myself this trip, but I don't know, like, I feel like with how high pressure everything is, I'll, some of the magic is kind of lost on me. But anyways... Uh, trying to get into the magic though. This is literally my last ride of the trip because I've been wanting to get on the omnibus the whole trip. And I was walking out of Buzz, of all things, and I was like, hey, look, there's the omnibus right there, free for the taking. So I just decided to give it a spin. And y'all can come along for the ride. Um, let's see, a couple thoughts. I think with everything being done on the phone, you know, everything from wait times, which, by the way, are, I, I think the wait time thing, it's like maybe they're, you know, it's like, let's say, oh, let's say you do like, you see like a 10 minute wait at Pirates and you're in Fantasyland. By the time you get over to Pirates to take advantage of that 10 minute wait, like a thousand other people are going to see that Pirates is at 10 minutes. And by the time you get over to Pirates, it's going to be a 30-minute wait instead of a 10-minute wait. And I feel like that is consistent. Um, and just, I don't know, just everything, you know, like, just, it's very discouraging to me that with the lightning lanes and everything, you almost have to be on your phone. You almost have to be, like, as you're getting off of a ride, you have to be on your phone to take advantage of, uh... Like, and I can't even imagine doing this park without Lightning Lane. I just, I just can't do it. I, I really, like, I can't even imagine doing it without it at this point. Oh, man. Lots of thoughts. Lots of processing. I would like to say that I had a good time, but, uh, really, the, by far, the highlight for me, I think, was Knott's. I, I mean, Knott's kind of has that magic that Disney used to have for me. I mean, I don't know, like... It is almost 11 o'clock at night, and look how crowded the hub is still. Like, it's not chokehold terrible, but it's still pretty crowded. I do like that full moon up there, though. So we'll just enjoy this little ride. I, You know what, though? I do give Disney a lot of credit for running the vehicles this late. I think that's really cool on them to do that. I think it adds a lot of kinetic energy. Um, one thing I will say with the cast members is they have a, like, I think this is a new policy that's been put in over the past couple of years where it's like every time they approach someone with anything, like to talk to someone, somebody about anything, it's always hello friend. Um, that to me, like I am, when I say this, I just want you want to let you guys know, I'm not like trying to single out any one cast member when I'm talking about this, but it's more so just kind of like my problem with that phrasing. I just think it's very passive aggressive, especially because we know the situation with cast members right now where, you know, obviously it's like underpaid, overworked. You can tell a lot of them are really, really trying hard to, you know, like do their job. But like, man, it's, I don't know. Maybe this is just me being an adult and knowing how hard it is to work in a park like this. But I just, uh, I am very, very, very cognitively aware of how stressful the cast members are in this park, or how stressed out they must be. And so, it's like, I, it, that make, that's like a barrier of entry for me as far as, uh, as far as being able to actually enjoy myself and relax, um, especially with like crowd control. You can't find a spot to sit down. Maybe I just came at a bad time, but I really, from the sound of it, there are no good times. 
Anyways, enough with the negativity. I'm enjoying the atmosphere here. This is a very nice ride down Main Street. This is probably gonna be the last time I'm gonna be at Disneyland for quite a while, and honestly, I don't really care. I haven't been at Disneyland in a few years. It's probably gonna be a few years before I go back at this point. I don't know. A lot of the uh, kind of the mythical qualities of this place, um, sort of that childhood nostalgia, it's just with everything being as stressful as it is, I, it's just hard to really enjoy it. Maybe if I was on a solo trip, because I will say that my grandma has been a factor just worrying about her and worrying about her, worrying about me. That has been a factor. That definitely has been a factor. If it was just me having a solo trip, maybe the anxiety and the chokehold cool crowds and everything wouldn't get under my skin so badly. But yeah. So I think I'm gonna sign off. I just wanted to, I know I've been lazy about the vlogs this trip. I really have been. I've just been dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of, uh, you know, obviously with the crowds first and foremost, so. I'm sorry that you guys have had to go without content for about a week, um, but obviously big thanks to Dragon and Jacob Weil, Rohit Dar for filling in for me when I've been gone, and we will see you guys on Sunday for the Guardians Volume 3 spoiler cast.